Soon we will have a better scope of the city of Durham's budget for the next fiscal year, but some activists and some community leaders are already questioning one part of it before it's even passed. They want leaders to sort of pump the brakes on investing in that shot spotter technology which alerts officers when gunshots are detected. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live for us tonight in Durham. And Nick, some worry that shot spotter really is not effective. Yeah, that's right, Rod. They fear that this puts black and brown communities at greater risk of danger when it comes to interactions with law enforcement. So I asked, what can be done instead? Under me. Across the street from the Durham County Detention Center Friday evening, political theater, literally. We really wanted to get creative, so we came up with a play. The theatrics is a stance against the shot spotter technology. Activists and community members gathering and marching to voice their concerns. Shot spotter is a surveillance technology, which is also seen as an invisible cage. Shot spotter sensors are placed in areas of the city and will automatically send officers when gunfire is detected. The idea behind the technology is to speed up police response times and save lives. Right now, the more than 197 thousand dollar program which would start out as a one-year pilot program is in the proposed 2022-23 budget this week cbs 17 obtained emails sent to durham city council both in support and opposition constance wright a durham resident supports it as they say nothing beats a failure but a try if not shot spotter then what the money that is used for shot spotter can be used for mental health services can be used for education. Activists also suggesting the money go towards things like neighborhood youth programs, job training, and more towards eviction diversion. And Rod, more than $75 million is slated to go to police in that proposed budget. The city manager will present it, and there will be a public hearing Monday evening during the city council meeting. In Durham, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you. Not